We are closely monitoring a growing outbreak of measles cases in West Texas. There are now 124 cases in nine counties. Now, earlier this week, the Texas Department of Health warned that some in central Texas were exposed to someone who was contagious on the weekend of February 14th through the 16th. Measles, of course, a highly infectious disease, and it could be only a matter of time before we see cases in our area. We know you probably have questions about the highly contagious infectious disease and what you can do to protect yourself. Dr. Catherine Troisi, an infectious disease epidemiologist at UT Health Houston, is joining us now. All right, so let's begin with this, talking about who is at most at risk. Uh, how exactly does the disease spread, and what do people need to look out for if they have been exposed? Uh, the disease spreads, and as you said, it's one of the most infectious viruses we know, but it spreads through the air. What's unusual about measles virus is that it can last in the air for up to two hours after the person who has measles has left the room. So you may be exposed and not even know it. The best, really the only way to protect yourself is to get vaccinated if you haven't been. If you don't know, check with your doctor, check with the state. Uh, check school records to see if you have been. The vaccine is very effective, it's safe, and it will protect you even up to seven days after you've been exposed. So if you know you've been exposed, you can still go and get vaccinated. Yeah, doctor, most people get the MMR vaccine as children. There are two doses there. You mentioned what adults can do uh, to figure out their vaccination status, but can adults get the vaccine? Definitely. Well, then should we, we be worried then about uh, waning immunity with the vaccine? Yeah, it's not really a problem if you are older. Um, if you were born before 1957, you most likely had measles and so are protected for life. However, there is one group of people who should get revaccinated. And that's people who were born after 1957 and were vaccinated before 1968. The vaccine that was used then was not quite as effective. So a booster may be recommended for those folks. Um, again, check with your healthcare provider. But if you were vaccinated after 1968, you, you are fine. All right, Dr. Truisi, thank you again for your time and insight today. And for more information, grab your phone, text the word measles to 713-526-1111. We'll text you back the latest information on the current outbreak, where you can get a free vaccine and more helpful links.